they have not liked to have left a final word to them to let them know that, hey, I love you, you're important. Look, your will is very, very important. I can't tell you enough how to get your will done, what you need to do to have your will. But remember to get your will and your health care power of attorney taken care of. If you need somebody like me to take care of it for you, I will. But they are one of the most important things. When my mom died years ago, it cost my dad thousands of dollars to get his will and health care power of attorney done with our family lawyer. Okay? Nowadays, you can get it done for about, I don't know, go online and fill one out. Uh, you get one from me. I can get it done for you for about eighteen ninety five, nineteen ninety five. 95 sorry. Um, you can go to a lawyer and they'll get it done for maybe some of them will charge 50, 100, depending on how big your estate is. The bigger your estate, it may cost you a little bit. With us, it doesn't. It will do the entire thing for you. But I'm just saying, it's very important to get your will and healthcare power of attorney. You got to quit thinking that you're a nobody. You got to quit thinking that who you are doesn't matter. I have people tell me that in the identity theft arena all the time. Oh, they can have what I got. Well, what they have is you. What they're using is you. They're stealing your identity. They're, they're a theft of you. Okay, they're voting in your name. Okay, they're doing politics in your name. And if you don't think it matters, then you don't matter. And each one of you matters. And each one of you has to understand that you are special. You're an individual. And having a will and healthcare power of attorney means the world. And if you don't have one... <sighs> In the end, you know, you're, you, you got to look at your family as they're important. That means if you don't get one done, then your family is not important to you. And I'm saying that because who do you want your kids to be left with? Who do you want the bills to be? Who do you want to take over your assets? You know, I mean, people like, oh, really? My family's important. Good. Then get a will done. Quit sitting there coming up with excuses for everything else and take care of your person. Take care of who you are. If you're in a coma and life support or something else, who's going to take care of you? Who's going to answer for you? Who's going to speak on your behalf? Who's going to have your power of attorney? Okay? Each U.S. state has specific laws in place to determine what is required in your estate and probate. These laws are referred to as probate codes. When a descendant dies without a will, they may be called laws for interstate succession or something similar. Probate is still required to pay the descendant's final bills and distribute his estate even when he dies without a will. Although the laws governing probate can vary from state to state, they're generally very similar. The following steps typically require authenticating the last will and testament. If the descendant left a will, the judge will confirm that it is in fact the most recent valid will signed by him. Appointing a personal representative, the judge will appoint a personal representative, also called an executor or administrator, to oversee the probate process and to settle the estate. The descendant's choice for an executor is typically included in his will. In the absence of a will, the court may appoint next of kin. In other words, if you don't put down who you want to be your executor of your estate, the court's going to appoint that person. Locating the descendant's assets... The personal representative will locate and protect all the descendants' assets. What if you got a family member you can't trust? What if you got a sibling that wants to take all the money and they, they, they basically hide everything? You know, you've got to have somebody you trust. Determining date of death values. The personal representative will determine the date of death values for the descendants' assets through account statements and appraisals. Identifying known creditors. The personal representative will identify all the descendants' creditors and notify them of death. She may also be required to publish notice of the death in a local newspaper to alert creditors that she may be not known about. Creditors typically have a limited period of time after receiving the notice to make claims against the estate for the money they're owed. In other words, if there's bills to be made, it's going to go against the estate. If you get that estate, you're responsible for it. So, but they have a limited number of time. Including creditors' claims, she can reject claims if she has reason to believe they're not valid. The creditor might then petition the court to have a probate judge decide whether the claim should be paid. There's a lot of scumbags out there and a lot of businesses out there that will actually put their name into things because they know you can't say yay or nay on it because they're just trying to get free money. They're trying to get free assets. So they will actually, they're frivolous lawsuits, they're frivolous claims. So you have to know what's the difference between frivolous is and what's actually going on. And if you are appointed by a judge, that person will never know that, which means your assets could be going to somebody that has nothing to do. They don't even know who you are, but they're getting your assets because they're robbing you blind. And there are companies out there that do that. Not many, but almost every single court case, somebody's always putting in because they're just taking a chance. They're throwing out, well, hey, I can get free money. 
don't let that happen to your estate. Don't let that happen to who you are. I know, I've seen it happen many times. The descendant's final personal income tax return shall determine if the estate is liable for any inheritance taxes. And if so, file these tax returns as well. She will pay any taxes due from the estate funds, liquidating assets if necessary. Estate taxes are usually due within nine months of the descendant's date of death. Um, have been completed, a person representative can petition the court for permission to distribute what is left of the descendant's assets to the beneficiaries named in the will. Who's the beneficiary? Who's going to get, if there's money left behind, if there is lawsuits that that person won because of the death, if there's kids, family members, next of kin, blood relatives, adopted relatives, foster care, um, if they're married, um, you know, sometimes I've seen ex-wives or ex-husbands go after it, yet they've been married three or four times, and that one first husband's like, oh, no, I get it all, and guess what? The first person will get it because nothing was changed, nothing was updated. So you want to make sure that these are taken care of and provided accordingly. Interstate estate, okay? Well, anyway, I can go by these one at a time. I just want you to know the importance of a will. If you want more advice, give me a call. I can do a video conference with you. I can talk to you on the phone about it. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're at. Make sure you get your will and your healthcare power of attorney done, your trust for minors done. These are very important and they mean the world to me because I'm watching my brothers and sisters that are in the military, that are truck drivers, that are factory workers. Everyday accidents happen. And the families are getting nothing out of the ordeal because other people take advantage of them because they didn't have a will or power of attorney. And who's to argue saying a person with a, with a better lawyer can win? So if you have a will, leave a will for your family. Leave a voice message for your family and put it in your will. I'm not saying that's going to be your will. I'm saying put it in your will. But make sure at all times your will and your healthcare power of attorney are taken care of and they're updated. If you need to get it updated, find a person that can do it. Can I do it? Yes, I can. But I'm also saying other lawyers can do it also. But if you want to get it done, I will do it for $19.95 and then it's good for life. And every year you're part of us, we'll update it for you. If you want somebody else to do it, they can run up, they can run thousands and thousands of dollars for anybody else. You can also call the state. Maybe some states you can get it done for free. Maybe you can go over if you're one of these people that are on food stamps and have to have different things. You can get yours done. But remember this. Get it done. It's worth it. Okay? Nobody thinks they're important. However, you may not think you're important, but the person next to you, your kids think you're important. You matter. Every time I tell people they matter, I mean that. Every time I say that you're important, I mean that. Every time I tell you that you mean the world, I mean that. But you need to have your will and healthcare power of attorney done. I'm telling you this because I'm watching my brothers and sisters in the Marine Corps and the Army and everything else die in training accidents and they don't have wills and they have no power, which means a judge is in charge of everything they do. If you have a business, if you have a family, if you have kids, you must get your will done and your healthcare power of attorney done because, and you need to let other people know they need to get theirs done also. Why? Because you matter. You mean the world. What if there's money left behind? What if there's assets? Who's going to get the bills? Who's going to get your property? What if you bought something sometime and it gets put in a, in a, um, a garage sale for like 50 cents, yet to you it's priceless and it should be left to your children or your grandchildren? Who's going to get that? Nobody knows because you didn't leave a will or healthcare power of attorney. You didn't let people know. Now, most military, they have a, a, a $250,000 life insurance policy. Some of them have a little bit more. And what happens if they die in a training accident? Have they left behind a will to let the people know who gets that money? Or is the state going to get that money? Or is it going to be distributed amongst people that did not need it? My point to you is you take care of your mind, you take care of your body, like I tell you all the time, but what's, who's going to take care of you if something happens to you? This is the next step of life where you have to be a responsible adult. By getting your will and your healthcare power attorney done, trust for minors, make sure you get your trust for minors done, make sure you take care of yourself. Make sure you take care of everything that is part of you, okay? And if you need help, I'll help you. My name is Jeffrey W. Jansen. I'm a United States Marine Corps veteran. I am a Legal Shield, independent Legal Shield associate. We do wills all the time, but you don't have to go to me. Go to your local law firm. Go to online and look at what a will is. And if you think it's going to cost too much, then call somebody like me. I'll help you out. But make sure you get it done. I'm tired of seeing my brothers and sisters get killed in training and their families are left with nothing or people come in and lie, cheat, and steal to get assets when they didn't even know the person, but now they're getting free money off of my brothers and sisters. They're getting free money off of the truck drivers out there because the truck drivers didn't think they were important when they are. 
look, you're taking care of your mind and your body going